Hey folks, so isolating objects from an image that you've created in AI is what we're going to talk about today. So recently I posted a video where I generated the image and then like down here I turned it into a simplified outline. And that's so they can be converted to crisp uh, vectors. Well, another piece of that, and that's why I wanted to do this, is the objects contained within. If you just pull that into Lightburn uh, and you, you generate vectors, you would get parts of these objects because part of the bear's hidden, part of the train, part of the doll. Uh, but if you want the complete image so you can add those to your art library and use them however you see fit, then you need to get AI to pull those out. Uh, I've asked for AI to isolate the objects, uh, but sometimes, and sometimes it works fine, but I've had better luck asking it to single out those objects. So just to, to kind of recap what the last video was and, and where we're going from here, you just, you give enough detail to get the image that you want so I ask, create an image of Santa standing next to his sleigh with toys and candy randomly placed within a snowy scene. We got this. And then we asked, recreate this image in a simplified outline style suitable for laser cutting. And we're here. And this will definitely give you the best shot at a crisp vector. So now we want to get these objects out. So we're going to ask, single out all objects from the image and place into a single sheet, resize as necessary. And we will see where that gets us. Uh, if it gets us what we want, we'll just pull it into light burn real quick and uh, get those vectors out. And then that'll be it. I didn't want to take up too much time, but when I find something that's useful to me, I got to think it might be useful to somebody else, so I like to share it. So uh, I'm using the the pay version of ChatGPT. It's ChatGPT Plus, but you can do this with the free version. And I'm not here to promote ChatGPT. Use whatever AI you like. Uh, you should get similar results. And I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody. So this is just information, hopefully, to help you get some clean vectors out for laser cutting. Okay, so we have the objects. And I'm going to give it a thumbs up because AI likes a pat on the back. I, don't, I have no idea what that piece down there is. So I'm just going to download this. And we're going to open Lightburn. I'm surprised I didn't already have it open. I, it's typically one of the first things I do. Uh, so let's pull this in. Should be that one. Here's our image. We're just going to right click. Trace. And if you get that clean simplified outline, you typically don't have to do any adjustment to the trace. You just let it trace, click OK, and here are our vectors. And I had a viewer ask, when you have the double lines, how do you get rid of them? Well, Lightburn gives you what I believe to be an automatic offset. So you can set the inner portions to um, a, an engrave, and then you can cut the outer edges out. So the first thing I do is just ungroup it because it's all grouped when it comes out of trace. And then if it's getting close on the DAW here, if you click that outer edge and move it away, then it's just a, it's just an offset. So you can, of course, grab this part. You, if you just got a full board you're engraving it to, then you're fine right there. If you don't need to cut it out, you just set it to an engrave and you're good to go. So there's that. Now, if you want to save any of these to your art library, uh, just pick one, whatever art library you got. You can, let's select the bear. 
and select a bear just import graphic from project name it and then click OK and then we have our bear over here in the art library so okay folks uh, I, I took longer than I wanted to on that but I hope it was helpful if it was please like and subscribe it does help the channel grow keeps me out in the shop I truly do love to be out here and I truly do appreciate you folks uh, taking time to watch and comment and share and uh, it's really helpful and I appreciate it so just check back often for new videos you folks take care and we'll see y'all next time thank you